how you turn your dream into a reality in three simple steps. Hey and welcome to this video. My name is Robert and all my life I made my passion, I turned my passion into my income, which helps me to create the lifestyle that I want. You can do the same. This video is actually about that. It's about turning your dreams into a reality. And I have three very simple steps for you. And you can do the same steps and make your turn your dreams into a reality. Whatever that dream is, if you want to own a specific car and drive it, if you want to travel the world, what, if you want to live in a specific house or live in a nature, whatever that is for you, with these three simple, simple steps, you can get there. And I actually have two more secret steps that you actually need to know and that a lot of people are missing out. And that's the reason why they are not making it. All right, let's dive right into it. Step number one, if you have a dream and want to make it into reality, then you need to know what your dream is first. So some people have a dream, it's just there, they know exactly what they want. Some people, they are different. For them, it's not like that. They would have to actually work on creating their own dream. How, you, how do you do that? Like, for example, you go ahead. For me, it was always like this. As of when I was a kid, I was always curious about a lot of things. I wanted to learn about the world, how different things work. I was reading all kind of different books about all kind of topics. I was, um, once, once I had internet available also, <laughs> I was um, researching on the internet on all kind of topics and I was trying out different hobbies, etc., etc. And whatever felt good, whatever I was interested in, I digged in deeper and learned more about it. And this is how I always kind of created a vision of something or a dream of something that I wanted to turn into reality or bring into my life. Like for example, I'm living on a Caribbean island since April 2018. So I'm not here on holiday. You see the palm trees in the background. This is where I live. And um, I am from Austria. And in Austria, there are no palm trees in Austria. <laughs> There is lots of mountains, at least in the area where I come from. There is only three months of summer. Otherwise, in spring, in autumn, in winter, it's cold. There can be snow and ice. That is not my, not my lifestyle. So at a, a certain point, I decided, hey, I want, to li I want to live somewhere else where it is summer every single day, you know. And um, I started to research and I figured out, hey, there, are, there is something like a Caribbean lifestyle and you could, I was starting to see more photos. I was starting to see what kind of food you could find there, how it looks like and, and et cetera, et cetera. And I was fascinated by it. So I just made it this, like I got the idea about how it could be, how it could feel to live on a Caribbean island. And I liked it a lot. So I kept it in my mind. I kept it as a dream. And um, that was step number one. I kind of built that dream in my own mind. Step number two, at a certain point, I started actually to create a plan for how I actually could get there in my life. Because there was a point before I started to create a plan where I thought, okay, that's only for people who are already pensioned or who are millionaires or whatever. But once I got past that, I thought, hey, I just can go ahead and try figuring out how I could make that happen. So I created a plan and I remember one part of the plan was, for example, that was a couple of years ago, several years ago, like five years ago, something, I was uh, doing business with, um, with a business partner and at that time I was also going for a holiday to Africa for like two weeks. And that was the first time in my life when I actually saw like a really nice white beach and all the palm trees around and it was like really nice summer weather and the beach is they looked very different from what I knew in like in Austria. If you live in Austria, you go down to Italy. That's where a lot of people go for holiday, holiday for example. And I knew these beaches, but there's one umbrella and one sunbed next to the other and they are all crowded and everything. And it's like, that was a different experience, like just a nice white sandy beach with the palm trees, the, the clean sea, and you could just take a nice walk. And I was like, wow. So 
I had an impression of like how it really could feel to live on a Caribbean island. So I made an actual decision once I, I experienced that to make a plan and move there. So that's what I did. I, I started talking to my business partner. Hey, I have to move down there, you know, and um, together we started figuring out how it could work so that so how it could work out so I could work from remote. So I could actually take my laptop, make sure I have a good internet connection and work from Africa. So, you know, it took maybe around half a year. I started also selling all my stuff in Austria, et cetera, et cetera, giving stuff away, telling people I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave, you know? So all of these things suddenly were part of an actual plan. Hey, how can I transition my, my work online. How can I tell everybody, okay, guys, I'm going to leave here, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And so once I had that plan, I actually, step number three, started acting on it. So if you have a dream and you have a plan, that's all cool. But if you're not acting on it, nothing's going to happen. So I started actually working on it. Like as I said, I started selling stuff. I started telling people. I started really transforming everything. That is actually, that was step number three, really doing the things necessary. And yeah, that's basically the simple formula. Dream it, plan it, act on it. And now there's a catch with that, kind of, you know, because a lot more people might be able to turn their dreams into reality if they just did that. Now that one catches, and that is one of the secrets that I was telling you about in the beginning, is, hey, if whatever you have dreamt, planned, and acted on did not work out, you have to start over all again. Keep your dream in mind, so that is step number one again. Keep planning again from wherever you are. If, the, if you made steps forward, if you made steps backward, something happened in your life, you know, this is what, what happens sometimes. Make a plan. This is where you are now. Make another plan how you can get to the next step. And then step number three again, act on it. And then do it again, 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 whatever happens in your life. So stick with it until you make it happen. Step one, two, three, step one, two, three, step one, two, three. And then there's another small secret that might help in some situations. It's like sometimes all the planning we do with our head is getting us so far only. And there, sometimes there are these barriers, invisible barriers that kind of seem to hold us in the same place. And whatever we do, we make two steps forwards, and um, one step back or two step, steps back or somehow we kind of stay in the same place. And sometimes it makes sense to like slow down. Get out of all the action, get out of all the, the planning and make room, make space for basically your subconscious, your intuition to help you. Because once you have ingrained a dream in your subconscious, it's gonna help you. It's gonna know this is what you're really going for. And it might know something that you're not aware of and give you a hint, like a feeling of what is the right thing to do. And sometimes it makes sense to follow that feeling, that intuition, and uh, this might be whatever is needed to break through that invisible wall and actually get a huge step further. All right, let's wrap it up. Step number one, dream your dream. If you don't know what your dream is, then build your dream and start dreaming it. Step number two, plan whatever you need to plan to get to the dream and get to the next step, especially moving forward and act on your plan. And then you also know about the two secrets. Think about them also. Start over as many times you need until you're really wherever you want to be at. Whatever it is, if it's the car you want to drive, the house you live in, if you want to travel the world, live on a Caribbean island like I do now. And I'm actually very, very happy that I, I did that. It was a good decision. I really love it here. I'm looking down to the sea right here. Palm trees over there. There's a jungle right there. I'm living in a nice house and, and a really cool neighborhood. And um, hey, you can do the same. You can also turn your dreams into reality. And if you like my channel, it's all about online business building. It's about online marketing. It's about personal growth then go ahead and just follow the channel, activate the bell also so you get noticed once I upload a new video for you. And if you're actually also working and turning your business, your career into more flexibility, if you want to build an own online business, 
based on your passions, especially that, that's what I'm specialized in. Hey, down there, there's a link, click on it and you can book a free consultation call with me. Let's, let's be on the phone together and um, tell me exactly where you're at, where you want to go and I'm going to help you get there, build your own online business, which creates the freedom for you to live on a Caribbean island if you want or have your car or whatever, do whatever you want with, with your life. I'm really looking forward to seeing you. If not on the phone, if you're not hearing us on the phone, then in the next video. All the best. Meanwhile, yours, Robert. <laughs>